Kuya Malaysa and I am a part of a costume division in SPOT. So recently, we have an activity not just in costume but in our whole artist group of SPOT. So in our division, we are required to produce sketches and actual costume in miniature doll or Barbie. So in this video, I will show you my personal designs of kung paano ako naging leading lady playwright by Carlo Vergara. I'll show you what are the meanings, the symbols, the color palette that supports my design. And also, I will be showing you from the scratch sketches to the final output. When designing a sketches, drafts are the starters to support your final output. I'm showing you how we do the process in designing a costume. In this activity, we have a designated themes each group assigned and our group assigned as a medieval period team. The first character is Popoy Pusakal. Popoy Pusakal has a power of lightning, but I prefer to choose Dragon as his representation of independency, strength, and leadership. The silhouette I created is mixed with medieval and today's trendy clothing. Bicycle shorts and three-fourth shirt combined with A-line skirt from medieval period and long sleeves with unique sleeve hole. His headpiece symbolized as a warrior army with embellishment on it. The second character is Windang Woman. She has a characteristic of sophistication, edgy, and sexy looking. Her symbol of compass represents rose of the winds and orientation of cardinal direction. Her A-line skirt gives a fluidity while she uses her power. Henin hat, a headdress with a cone shape, worn by women nobility during a medieval period. And did you know that wearing a higher hat symbolizes the more power? She's that girl. And for the last character, Maracas Marco, characterized his boxing techniques with strong arms. I gave him a hand wraps for his symbolic material, while his symbolism is Reflesha, a flower that represents the beauty from the outside, but deadly inside. He's a part of an antagonist group, which to replace the popularity and power of a hero's. I gave him first to represent social position or aristocrats and public official because during that era, only public official could wear furs. Lastly, a silhouette of a robe which used before and after a ring match during boxing. So as I said earlier, we are required to produce a costume in miniature doll or Barbie. Ta-da! So here's my design of Windang Woman. She's my favorite um, character because she has a vibe of edginess, sophisticated, and sexy. Well, some parts I failed because I don't have enough material to produce a well-costumed design. that I use are mostly scraps fabrics and recycled materials like this one this is a cardboard and then I use a glue gun and organza and some beads from my previous designs I think that's it 